Often we have the tendency to think that the biblical ideas of discipline and instruction are things that are mostly negative. But in reality, musar, the Hebrew word that describes those things, is something that is positive. Because the biblical principle is you catch more flies with honey than you do with vinegar. There are a couple of words in the book of Proverbs for teaching. But the word I want to look at today is the word lekak. Lekak means learning, teaching, and persuasion. Part of being a good parent is persuading our kids that wisdom is good for them. In fact, I think we spend a lot of time giving information and we should maybe spend more time trying to persuade. We have to understand that if we want our kids to adopt the values of the Bible as their own values, we can't constantly give them only negative responses. For example, if you make 15 comments a day to your kids about their behavior, but only four of them are negative, then your kids will understand that you love them and that you care about every aspect of their life. In reality, wisdom teaches us that we should affirm our children in the things that they are doing well. Proverbs 16.21 says, The wise in heart are called discerning, and pleasant words promote instruction. Okay, three points to keep in mind when we affirm or praise our children. Number one, be sure that the vast majority of your praise is based upon things that our kids can control, like attitudes or actions or behaviors, rather than on things they can't control, like good looks or natural ability or intelligence. Number two, use praise and affirmation as a way to reinforce biblical values in the life of your kid. We want to be affirming them in the things that we think are the most important. This will also have a secondary effect on the rest of the kids in your family. When the other kids in the family see Junior praised for the good thing he did, that will trigger their human nature and their desire to want to be praised as well. So when you praise Junior publicly, you encourage him and you put out a challenge for the rest of the kids in the family about what behavior you like. And number three, don't give fake praise. There are a lot of people who think that if they just praise their kid for every little thing he does, then he's going to turn out to be a wonderful child. But the reality is, is when we praise kids for things that they haven't done all that well, it cheapens our praise in their eyes and in the eyes of the rest of the kids in our family. For example, if your three-year-old brings you a coloring page with scribbles all over it, you can praise him for that. If your seven-year-old brings you a page with coloring scribbles all over that, you probably want to tell him something like, well, that's pretty good, but I think you can do better. 